The trees are moving west. A new study that looked at three decades worth of data on trees came to a startling discovery. The trees are moving. From 1980 to 2015, researchers found that 73% of trees in the eastern U.S. have been moving westward, while 62% have been migrating north. As trees farther south and east die off, new ones sprout further north and east, causing the geographic center of where trees live to gradually shift. The reason for the move is unclear, but is possibly linked to climate change. Changes in rainfall patterns have reportedly led to wetter weather in the west. Warming temperatures are also partially responsible for the northward shift, as trees try to get to cooler weather. It's highly unlikely that the eastern U.S. will be completely devoid of trees, but the migration could impact industries that rely on specific species. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here are some other ways climate change is affecting the world. Rising temperatures could be linked to an increase in diabetes cases. A recent study shows that an increase in cases of type 2 diabetes may be linked to global warming, including 100,000 new annual cases in the U.S. alone. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about one out of every three Americans will develop type 2 diabetes. A study published in the journal BMJ Open Diabetes Research and Care found that as the average annual temperature rose by 1 degree Celsius, the number of diabetes cases rose by 3.1 per 10,000 people. Researchers suspect the rise could be due to the inactivity of brown adipose tissue, a natural body fat that produces heat from burning the fat stored in organs to keep the body warm when temperatures drop. If temperatures stay warm, the inactivity of brown adipose tissue can increase fat stored in organs, causing glucose intolerance and diabetes. According to the World Health Organization, about 422 million people worldwide suffer from either type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Increasingly violent typhoons to hit China and Southeast Asia. New research shows typhoons in East and Southeast Asia are becoming stronger and looks set to continue to intensify. Ocean waters in East and Southeast Asia have become significantly warmer. As typhoons pass over warm water, they absorb some of the thermal energy and become stronger. Research reveals that typhoons in the region have become up to 15% more powerful over the past four decades. Typhoon Lion Rock swept across northern Japan on the night of September 6th. It has already killed 17 people and the country is bracing itself for another typhoon. Why flights between London and New York may soon be longer The possibility of transatlantic flights getting any longer is nothing anyone wants to hear. But a recent study by researchers at the University of Reading says that lengthier flights are becoming a real possibility due to climate change. Flights between New York and London could lengthen in response to changes in meteorological conditions in the atmosphere that affect the jet stream. Researchers say that as the atmosphere warms up due to global warming, the jet stream will become 15% faster during wintertime. The stronger jet stream will boost tailwinds, which may cause flights from New York to London to be shorter than the current 5 hours and 20 minutes. However, flights from London to New York are going against the jet stream, so trips may take more than seven hours, making the overall round trip longer. Flights are expected to take a total of 2,000 hours longer each year, which means higher fuel costs and more CO2 emissions. The estimated increase in amount of CO2 emissions is equivalent to the annual CO2 output of 7,100 British homes. Scientists say that since this jet stream circles the globe, and because there's another in the southern hemisphere, it's possible that flights elsewhere in the world will be impacted by climate change. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Will California soon be underwater? Researchers are warning that melting ice shelves in Antarctica could cause sea levels to rise higher than expected, with the changes being most apparent in California. Scientists theorize that due to the Earth's rotation and gravitational pull, melting ice in Antarctica, particularly in the western portion, is pulled toward the California coast. This makes rising sea levels more dramatic in the region. For every foot of global sea level rise caused by the melting West Antarctic, sea levels will rise approximately 1.25 feet on the California coast. In 2100, sea levels could rise as high as 6.9 feet in San Francisco and 7.1 feet in La Jolla. 
The California Ocean Protection Council plans to hold a series of workshops and propose measures to address this issue. Thought climate change predictions were scary. Well, they just got a whole lot scarier. The possible effects of climate change are far worse and could come far sooner than we previously thought. So says James Hansen, a leading climate change researcher who was among the first to warn the public about the serious effects of the buildup of carbon dioxide. The former director of NASA's Institute for Space Studies, along with 18 other leading climate scientists, published a paper this week predicting rapid sea level rises could happen within decades. A team of researchers' primary claim that as the ice sheets in Greenland and Antarctica melt, a layer of cold fresh water will build up over the ocean, trapping warmer, salty ocean water, with which it doesn't easily mix, underneath the surface, and thereby leading to a feedback loop that causes ice shelves to melt even more rapidly effectively slowing down and possibly shutting down ocean circulation. An idea apparently not too dissimilar from the premise of the 2004 disaster movie, The Day After Tomorrow. The scientists believe that this ice melting will cool polar regions of the globe and warm areas around the equator, causing stark temperature variances that could make superstorms, such as Hurricane Sandy, which struck the U.S. East Coast with devastating effect in 2012, far more frequent. To argue their case, the researchers controversially claim that storms during the warm Eemian period 120,000 years ago were powerful enough to lift massive boulders, 1,000 tons in size, from the bottom of the ocean and hurl them ashore. Hansen and his team believe a multimeter sea level rise could occur before the end of the century and envelop all of the planet's coastal cities. Despite the dire predictions, Hansen, in an accompanying video, explained that there may possibly still be an opportunity to reverse this worrying trend, saying, quote, I doubt that we have passed the point of no return, but frankly, we're not certain of that.